to really get a sense of Rob Ford, you have to leave Toronto's glitzy, condo-ridden downtown and head west to the suburb of Etobicoke. It's a different city out here, quiet streets, modest homes. It's where Rob Ford grew up as the youngest son of a self-made millionaire and politician, where the mayor says he learned the thrifty values that drove his wildly successful run for mayor in 2010. It's tax, 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 spend, spend, spend. City hall spending is out of control, ladies and gentlemen. Outside a shopping mall, it's easy enough to find what's dubbed Ford Nation by the mayor, his base of loyal voters. His current problems, admissions of drug use, drunkenness, bad language, are nobody else's business, they say here. Everybody drinking, everybody's doing things, but they doesn't catch them, they doesn't have them. And they catch him and they make so much publicity. I support them and I do very good for the topic and I do for very good for Toronto. He says he has stopped drinking, he is going to therapy. Give the man another chance. So the political entity that is Ford Nation began here in the western part of Toronto and spread around the city in the 2010 elections. But it goes beyond geography. Support for Rob Ford can be found amongst people who see him as someone who can deliver the goods to their particular group. He's fighting against the guy that who used to steal money, and he is fighting for our rights. Mo Hakamzada came to Canada from Afghanistan 27 years ago. He drives his own cab and considers himself a small businessman, a group that he says overwhelmingly backs a frugal, tax-cutting mayor that they see as a man of the people. And to prove this, he takes us to meet others who feel as he does. I like Rob Ford for making the office uh, uh, accessible for once for one, in terms of uh, bringing it down to the level of the common man, you know. With Rob Ford, he has a common touch with the people. Back at City Hall in the downtown core where most voters didn't join Ford Nation in 2010, the mayor's popularity is at an all-time low. But as his supporters point out, behind the controversial character whose many gaffes are familiar around the world now is a stubborn, tenacious fighter. And that's what the mayor says he's doing, fighting back and aiming for re-election next year. Daniel Lack, Al Jazeera, Toronto.